So hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be making a launcher. So a lot of games have launchers and they seem to be a really convenient way to play and update games and show the new information about games. So in this video we're going to be making your own launcher launcher in a game. Before we get into this video I would like to give a huge shout out to Oceanox which is our sponsor for this video. In Oceanox, you get to roam a small world, or kind of big actually, a world um, where there are villages, um, different kind of weathers in a map, and you get to survive, craft, build stuff, and just basically um, a game where you survive. Um, the game will be released in a few, in a week or so, I believe. So um, you guys should go check that out. They are currently raising some money for a Steam release, so. If you guys are interested, you guys can go to their PayPal and um, donate to them. The first 10 people to email me or Team Oceanox will be able to receive the game for free on release or before release. So be sure to check it out and email me or him as soon as possible. Anyway, let's get back to the video. So to start off, you want to just create a quick little um, small UI kind of thing user interface just for the um, launcher and how it will look so I'm just gonna be quickly cr quickly creating this so you can now I haven't finished but um, I'm trying to set the um, resolution default to um, 720p so that you don't have to, and I'm gonna disable the resolution dialog which means it's not gonna ask you if you want to have it at full screen or windowed and I'm just gonna put it to something default like that or maybe you can change it it's customizable and now I'm gonna get back to creating this interface and now what you want to do now you want to create a new script Hang on. get a get a new script and you want to call this launcher you're gonna wait for this to load and then double click it to open it if you want to apply this to the canvas right now first, you can do that because I'm going to do that most likely first, only because I tend to forget this and I just start clicking play and it will just not respond. So now I'm double clicking it and we're just going to wait for Visual Studio to load and then we'll get back to you guys. So what I'm going to do first is create another using, I'm going to call this using dot using system dot diag system dot diagnostics diagnostics di whatever using system so we're gonna need those two on top and then you're gonna create three different no you're gonna need one string variable called direct directory so this is gonna be where your game directory gonna be at and then another string called URL which you don't need this um I put a YouTube button on the bottom so you're only gonna need this if you have a link but that doesn't matter you're gonna have to create um one called public a uh, public void variable public void called play game another one called quit launcher which I'll be adding the button later I forgot to and another one in between but it doesn't matter the order doesn't matter public void void open YouTube so here are the three public voids you need. These are for the buttons. Each button is, will have one of these public voids inside them. The first one for public void, you want to put in process dot start and then parentheses directory and then um, semicolon, sem semicolon. That's all you need for that. And then open YouTube application dot open URL and then URL and then quit launcher. So then put application dot quit. So the first one is telling us to start um, the process in the directory. Second one is telling us um, the URL to open the URL, and quit application quit is telling us to quit the application. And I removed the system because we're not going to be using that. I made a mistake. Okay, so once it's done loading, you'll probably see two bo empty boxes. Those are the strings, and this is the directory I'm putting it in. So I'm gonna be. Have I'm gonna have to memorize that directory. So currently, YouTube, I'm gonna just put in youtube.com, not my channel, I don't wanna go into my channel right now. 
directory, I'm in a, um, the G drive, so I'm gonna G, slash, and then game launcher, tutorial, and then slash exe, file, dot exe. So, now it's gonna open this when I click, um, the play button. Like, the little play button in the launcher. But then I have to remember, um, to put in the button. So, now, um, I accidentally exported it, so that's why it's all, um, buttoned up. But, what you wanna do now, you wanna apply the buttons. And, the first one is play game. And, the second one is YouTube. So I'm gonna add that, put in the canvas, and then launcher, open YouTube. So now if now if you click both those buttons, it now will work. And now we're gonna be duplicating a third button, making that the quit button that we created. And let's drag that down a bit, put it right there, drag that in so it matches with the side. You want to change the launcher, open YouTube to quit launcher. And now, if you start or um, export it, it should work. And yeah, just to clarify, I'm putting quit on the text. So now, I'm not going to build it again. It's going to take way too long. So I'm just going to click play. It does the same thing except for the quit. Now, if you just wait and let it load and play. When you click the click quit button, it wouldn't work. Because you can't really make it quit um, the Unity, launch, Unity Editor. So it will quit in the real thing. If you click play, um, it should start the directory or the game that you linked it to. And here's the exe file configuration. I'm gonna just window that. And this is what the exe file was. Yep, that. And you're just gonna close that. And if I click YouTube button, it'll lead me directly to YouTube. And that's pretty much it. It just opens YouTube. And yeah. So, thank you guys for watching this video, I mean, it was quite a short video, I didn't upload for quite some time, and, um, I'm sorry about that. If you put the link as youtube.com, I'm sorry, um, just put in the HTTPS and three W's in front. But as I was saying, thank you guys for watching this video, subscribe if you want, and I have a series going on for, um, the Top Down Shooter, um, we're gonna be doing enemy following and stuff like that next time so we're gonna be ending the video here like the video like i said subscribe support me on patreon if you want to the link is in the description below join the discord server for information on the channel and anything that's going on and i'll see you guys all in the next video